My name is Brother Jacob. Uh, I'm with the Central Province uh, Dominicans, and uh, I came to the well today with uh, Urban Encounter, and we were doing prophetic ministry, and I wanted to share the word with you that I received uh, from one of the people here. And so, uh, a little backstory though, so you can understand why this word impacted me so much. Uh, when I first arrived here in Columbus, uh, the first thing I did was I went to an adoration chapel and I knelt before a tabernacle and I had this, I don't know, this prayer of sorts where I said, you know, Lord, I just don't feel at home. In fact, I've never felt at home anywhere I've been. I've been to a lot of different places. I've never felt really at home. And I heard the Lord say to me in my heart, you're not at home but you are at home in me. And so anywhere you go, you'll always be home with me. And that really, that comforted me. And as I reflected on it, I, I thought about it and I thought, you know what? I think the Lord is conforming my heart to be a pilgrim's heart. Somebody who's on the way to God. And then today, <laughs> I'm sitting here and we just start, I'm talking, this took not even a minute. They said, who wants to go first? I'm like, I'll go first. <laughs> and we had Hannah sit next to me. After, after 30 seconds of prayer, she turns to me and she says, I see your feet, <laughs> and they have a pilgrim's grace on them. <laughs> and, and then she says, and this is going to manifest in two ways. One way is spiritual. Spiritual pilgrim. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When did it start? That's right. It started uh, when I was late teen, right? So when I was at Steubenville, uh, I was in adoration. And when I was in adoration, uh, I was looking at the monstrance, and Jesus said to me, do my work. And that started this process of discipleship and following him on this journey. That's what she said. Yeah. So then, then you have, so late teens, right, is when this pilgrimage began. And then you have the, uh, basically, like she said, that the way it's going to manifest is in two ways. The first way is uh, the spiritual kind of pilgrimage where I'm not at home spiritually, right? And the second way is that literally being a pilgrim, like you're moving around a lot, right? And that's kind of the way it will uh, manifest in the future. Like I won't, I won't be in one place. And as a Dominican, we're itinerant, right? And so we move around a lot and from place to place to place. And so then she says that, uh, you know, that my heart is being conformed to this, but I will have a home in God. Right? And so literally the prayer I had when I first arrived in Columbus is exactly what Hannah then relayed to me from the Lord in this word. And my, the secrets of my heart were revealed and the only thing I could do was fall down and worship. And so that's exactly what I did. And I laid there and just said, thank you, God, because God is good and he sees us and he knows us. And we can hear his voice and he wants us to know that we can know him.